Hello ladies and gents, I am Elidiffin and this is a game from Crate Entertainment called Grim Dawn. It's a hack and slash action RPG um, with a similar sort of theme, it seems, to that of Diablo 2, but with combat very, very similar to that of Titan Quest, a game which I really, really enjoy. I have played like the fir the very very first quest on this just to get a feel of it and see how the recording goes because I think I've now got a setup which works. So without further ado, let's create a character. A different. Why is it saying female? Create. There we go. No character screen. Just create a character. It's fine. No no need to worry about any of that stuff. I will do the main campaign single player and I will actually put it onto veteran difficulty which increases the number of elite spawns just makes enemies a little bit tougher. The reason for this is I am going to be playing as the soldier class. Uh, just brute force, melee combat, sword and board kind of deal. Can have other classes but I'll go into a little bit more detail when they come in. Maybe that was the main reason why I played the first quest. I want to try out each of the, each of the classes initially, see what I like. paid a heavy price. But the trap worked. You seem surprised. It's been a while since we've had a win. How long will it hold? I've never entrapped a being like this. But the bonds hold. For now. How do we dispose of it? I'm just a witch. You're the soldier. If it bleeds, I can kill it. How do you kill a spirit, though? If you kill the mortal vessel while it's bound, the spirit may perish within. If it escapes... It's listening to us. What are you? Others of your kind name us the Furion. Why have you invaded our world? Your world. We existed first. We were managed by your corrupt gods. Your prophet opened the way. I've heard enough of this rubbish. Let's hang it. Destroy this vessel, and I will find another. I have tasted its desires and emotions. Your kind is weak. You have already lost this war. Do it. Captain! Cut him down! What? Are you mad? Better safe than sorry. The spirit has fled! This is a human now. The captain is correct. When they awaken, they won't remember a thing. The ethereal was right. The war is lost. We're a resistance now, and we need every human survivor we can call to our cause. Maybe this one here can still die with some honor. If they ever wake up, send them to me. If they don't, bury them deep with the others. Was an auspicious start. Start being hung. There we go. Oh yes. The reason one reason of going for melee character is this is controlled with mouse movement, not like some other action RPGs, WSD, and I find it makes it a lot difficult, more difficult for dodging. I don't know how important dodging is in this game, so I'd rather go for a melee focused character where I can click on an enemy and then dodge away if need be. Still drawing breath, I see. You're one lucky bastard, I'll give you that. Best go speak to Captain Bourbon right away. He seems to have a plan for you now that we've spared your life. You were possessed. So we uh, strung you up. Seems the spirit fled your body before your life ran out. I'd a 
have left you to hang, but uh, the captain had other plans. He sees some purpose in you, and I'm not going to argue. So he's telling me this. Oh, I've got, got a knife. He doesn't know who I am. I could just stab him. He's um, up the road in the courtyard. Don't make me regret cutting you down. I'll go away then. Anything around here? Bridge. 2009 bits and six scrap. And materials, okay. J. Ooh, better in it, so I'm gonna signing skills, so. Faction window. Aha! So there's Ethereals, Chthonians, and Devil's Crossing. Ethereals, foolish and greedy, did the Arcanists of Cairn delve into the magical veil known as Ether, never once suspecting that something was looking back. The Ethereals descend upon Cairn in now what's known as the Grim Dawn, possessing countless humans and butchering the rest. Most despicably of all, they've begun raising the fallen as mutated undead creatures, mindless foot soldiers for their invasion. Their very presence on Cairn is enough to mutate the wildlife, turning once docile creatures into vicious monstrosities. But most strange of all is their apparent hatred of the Chthonians, as they will do battle against them against the horrors of the Void at every opportunity. Chthonians, horrors from the Void, are things as nightmares. Prior to the Grim Dawn, Chthonians would only be seen upon Cairn following an arcane ritual gone wrong at the beckoning of a powerful sorcerer. <coughs> By the sounds of it, the Grim Dawn was a powerful arcane ritual gone horribly wrong. Anyway, despite an effort to exterminate the practice, a cult was, was formed, has formed around the blood rituals and worship of chthonic beings. Members of the cult have been overheard chanting one name in particular, Chthon. With the, word in dis, with the world in disarray, the cult has grown strong, garnering new followers desperate for answers in a world that mo lo no longer makes sense. Chthonians and their loyal cult appear to be odds with the Ethereals, eagerly harvesting hapless humans for blood so that the Ethereals cannot use them as vessels. So headquarters Devil's Crossing. Survivors, that the world <coughs> that, that word used to mean no nah. yeah. I'll try again. Survivors, that is the word used most often to describe the hardy denizens of Devil's Crossing, the men and women who made it through the Grim Dawn to form a small community within the ruins and of abandoned prison. They have seen all too many friends and family lost to the Taken, those found possessed by Ethereals. Earning their trust will prove no easy task, but with supplies running low and a looming Ethereal threat on the horizon, they may just be willing to take a chance. So I'm currently tolerated with them. Train dummy. Wait, what do you have to say, Ramos? You're the one we almost hung. <laughs> I didn't really see a sense in it, but then again, no one really cares what old Barnabas thinks. You really should go speak with the captain. He'll be the one deciding whether there's a place for you here at Devil's Crossing. Okay. Not see the watchman. What's Harmon say? Oh, he hasn't got a thing. I have unlocked a rift gate. Ah, so t essentially town portal. Cool. Oh, look, it's the possessed one. Tell you what, I got something that needs doing, and I'll pay you good to see it done. I'm not quite sure you've got what it takes, but come back with some blood in your boots, and maybe re I'll reconsider. Just trying to make sure it's not your your own blood. Cool. So he'll give me a quest probably once I've gotten once I have this You're not first quest done. For someone just come back from the brink of death, you were taken. Possessed by the same creatures that have been reanimating these zombies here. Normally, I'd have burned you with the rest to be safe, but we've lost too many people to the dead. I need someone expendable, someone with nothing to lose but a lot to gain. Right now, you're that person. True. Prove your worth to me, and the survivors of Devil's Crossing may just welcome you. What do you want me the to do? The bodies of the dead are rising again in some horrible unlife. Corpses don't just get up and move around on their own. Something is reanimating our deceased with ethereal energy. We have observed the dead for some time, and they appear to be flooding lower crossing from the burial hill, just beyond town. I want you to go to the burial hill, find whatever is controlling these abominations, and destroy it. You what can need I find to this find your way through lower crossing. Once you've crossed the stream on the far side of town, there will be a beaten path leading up to burial hill. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I'd be asking a lot of my people to welcome you with open arms, too. Help us in our hour of need, and I will open Devil's Crossing to you. 
I'll find what's reanimating these corpses. Bit of geek, Corey. Hello, my friend. Have I seen you before? Perhaps we've met on the road somewhere? Corey is my name. I'm a traveller. A trader? A keeper of the strange. There is a time, well, no matter. I've travelled far, always in the shadows. Uh, okay. Thank you, keeper. Sorry, but I can't let you enter. You'll need to be cleared by the captain before I let you through. Fair enough. It has a strange gate. Ah, you must be the Taken. I heard about that mess at the gallows. Grizzly business. I don't care for it. I'm quite eager to learn more about you, but you really should speak to the captain before wandering too much around the camp. All right. Ah. Another helm. Pretty good. There's been some dead. Ah, yes. Kill these here. So here's the character window. I've still got the tutorial on because it might come up with some useful information. One nice thing, you actually have a chance to hit areas and actually the armor rating does depend on particular pieces of armor. So it is a useful bit of information. Shields have a chance to block damage and then you can't block all this constantly. So there's that. We've only got a little shiver at the moment and the rest is quite manky. Potion's cool. And I can always, wherever I want, open the personal rift and travel to here. Just like that. And just go back to the personal rift. Really cool little thing, feature. And it is free. No need to worry about scrolls of town portal or what they were at Tableau anyway. So all loot will show up automatically. You can change what I'm showing. Change it. And I've got, you know, I just want to be showing everything for now because I want to sell it for money. Oh, hello. Well, I couldn't move. That's because the guy's rising out the ground to attack me. Low level. Ah, musket. So, this is the reason why the gun's good. I will use it for a little while. You see here, you, if you misclick, you run past them. Which for a ranged class, which are generally squishier compared to melee, I don't really want that to be happening. But it's such a huge damage increase. <laughs> that guy went splat. Use it for a little while anyway, because it is so much better than my current gun. Well, this gun is better than my current weapon. So here are the classes. So soldier, big, beefy, lots of resistance, melee focus. Demolitionist, Demolitionist is more your average archer type. Throws grenades and traps and stuff. Um, the the cultist is more your necromancer guy, so curses the enemy, poisons them, summons griblies from the unknown. Nightblade, more your rogue class, so dual wielding, fast, high damage, but not that particularly strong. Arcanist, your standard sort of mage, lots and lots of magic spell damage, different elements. Pretty cool. Diminish is actually fire, like fire. Arcanist, more arcane damage and lightning. No, shaman is lightning. Shaman seems to be more a focus towards two handed weapons. Elemental lightning damage and like spirit summons, so different different bits to the occultist. One feature which this game has similar to the Titan Quest is that you actually have two classes. And um, later on you get a second class, and that could be any of these, so you can mix and match any pretty much any classes you like. But I'm gonna go soldier, maybe go into Arcanist or sh shaman later. Or, or demolitionist. 
team can't actually view the skills before, hence the reason I played this game a little bit already to see what there is. So, I'm going to go for Cadence. Uh, this skill does uh, has a nice thing to, has a chance to be used on every attack. The problem is that Cadence, because it's a 100% chance to be used every third strike, it can actually interfere with the use of this ability. Let's get Cadence going. And Force Wave. Um, Quasar Shield, turned of melee weapon. Um, I should just put another point into here just to increase my basic physique, because this is a great way of doing all the physique and stuff. So, improve Cadence. And I do have some other attributes. I'm not going to put any points in just yet. I might need them later. There is a lot of might need it later in this game. At the moment, the gun is going to be very, very effective. See, every third shot does a massive amount of extra damage. And it's something I do like. A lot of this, a lot of these skills do work melee or ranged. Don't have to worry about either. So it's quite easy to swap, and there is a quick swap between two classes, two builds a weapon. Ooh, there's a gun. This gun is actually kind of the best damaging output. It's pretty good. So this is a sword, but at the moment I think the gun is probably my best option. So what do I get? I got a note. Fence note. I'm trapped here. I realise now I will die in this house, Margaret. I fear that you are already dead and so may not be so bad as if I am shortly to join you. If by some miracle you live and I return here and you return here to find this note, please know that I am not angry with you. I never regretted our lives together, but I now only regret that I lost my temper and spoke unkind words when we last parted. I hope you do not think, think me a coward of what I am about to do. They are already in the house. I've barricaded myself into this room, but it is only a matter of time before they break through. All I can do now is choose the manner in which I face death, and I would rather die a man than be changed into one of those horrid things or eaten alive. I will always love you. Francis. And he thinks he shot himself in the head. See. I'm misclicking slightly, it's moving. You can stop that either by putting it on a right click. Text on right click or so, and then you, you, you know, if you, if you right click attack, you stay still, or if you shift click. And it did quite like that with the Arcanist build. And I do like the Arcanist spells, but I was finding, if I wanted to dodge attacks, I was having a lot of difficulty doing so. Let's just go back to sword and board. I actually got two attacks going. See, it's I'm taking a lot of this current that's set up better the rifle because the rifle basically just one shots everything. One or two shots kills everything. Ooh. Blue thing. Food ration. Food ration fills up this. See there's like slightly colour over this red bar? When that hit up it will actually heal you quickly. It will actually um, regenerate your health quickly. Gun on me, range attack is quite nice. 
Anyway, what was I gonna do? Ah, yes. Ooh. Good circlet. Health regeneration. So we've got Harbour Master's log. Autumn fogs are, ap are appearing early this year, but traffic remains unusually high. There is a steady flow of small craft coming from <coughs> from Malmouth and other townships to the northeast. Some of these boats are barely afloat, burdened with what looks like people's every every possession. These travellers, sometimes entire families, bring with them strange tales of war and the, and the unnatural. A bunch of hogwash riling up the soft townsfolk. Can't complain though, keeps the dock busy. Most are westbound, trying to get as far away as they can. The lads at the dock are starting to lose their nerve. Some are talking about setting out west themselves, but I've assured them this is all nonsense and will pass. Youth are easily caught up in the energy of the moment. Hmm. But still, let's improve these skills. So what's this? I think melee attack. This is done. Does it actually do anything? Just boost this all the way up just so I can start getting some more of these passive abilities. No. I'll try and navigate my way around. See, see that's this bar is a little bit lower now. Wow, this is quite a bit tougher on this difficulty. Just kind of wound a bit. There we go. All right, combat. Let my hell life regenerate up a bit. Down a bit. Let me hear it killed. Got that food ration. Bam. So they heal up myself. Brilliant. Cool. Some nice armory um, stuff there. Change, change this weapon again. Smite all these guys down. Vital essence probably just heals me straight away. Nine bits. There's a big fire there. Ooh, journals. Everything. Slap him down. Two. The tonic. Oh, I did pick up a couple of times, didn't I? A second entry. 
Oh, cool, first entry. I'm coming en route to the village of Berwick in order to investigate a number of strange incidents that have been reported in this area. As dusk is drawing near, the swamps in this region are said to have said to be hazardous. I need to close that in case anything annoys me. To travel at night, I've reluctantly taken up to lodging at a small squalid tavern in the lower crossing. Perhaps I'm weary from my hurry travels, but I feel as if a strange pressure and electricity in the air. It is almost akin to the still before a thun a summer gale, but yet to see the sun rise and no cloud to be seen. Everything is as it should, but in my gut I feel that something terrible will come to pass. Second entry. I was planning to resume I was packing to resume my journey to Berwick. My assist my assistance was urged and requested at a lodging camp in the old grove west of Devil's Crossing, where strange animal attacks have left three lumbermen listless and pale. Upon arriving, I received a somber greeting from the foreman who informed me that the bitten workers had gone mad and fled the premises. They reported to have spoken in an unknown tongue. The foreman showed me the remains of the animals, two grey foxes and a hound, suffering some sort of horrific mange. Lay hasty lay in a hastily dug pit behind the outhouse. The foreman told me the animals suddenly died when confronted by workers and the strange green vapour emanated from their remains. Shortly afterwards, the three, mon the three lumbermen fell ill and the mental state rapidly deteriorated. It appears my presence in this region, in this region is most warranted. Uh, not, being, not reading these very well. Heavy boots. What's in here? Nothing of interest. Very well. Where's my axe? Hello. Yeah, so these are rift spawn. The axe isn't as good as my s scrap little saw blade. gonna die a countdown where are you from I was staying with a group of survivors down at Devil's Crossing you know the old prison but supplies started from low and I volunteered to go scavenging around Lower Crossing figured it was safe enough but I was wrong I got chased near by a pack of ravenous rift scourges though I can't hear their madding scuttering sk anymore I suppose you have you to thank for that doesn't matter though the area's overrun with the dead we won't make it five feet without getting surrounded I could open your rift gate uh, uh, what isn't that one of those things that came pouring out of well sort of but mine will take you home I'm having a hard time believing that after what I've seen in Burwich. But you don't seem to have a look of taken about you. I suppose it's my only option. I, I was taken. There you go. Oh, gate. Stump. Cool. Stump. Take them out there. Uh, so yes, the rift scourges are actually fighting the actual undead. Go. Cool. <laughs> Completely splatting across the land. Rift Hound. No, they didn't last long. Ah, swarms! Swarms of insects! More Rift Hounds. Chunks. Deal. So it's weapons and stuff, you actually put stuff in them. That's good. It doesn't seem to be anything over, over here. Is this an alternative route? Or what's in here? Supposed to just be an alternative route.
Oh yeah, I have skills. Military strength, increased physique and health. It's good. Activates when the health drops below 33%. A ton of health is stored. And health regeneration. Yeah, that sounds really handy. What's this? Apart from being in submission, sting enemy blows rounds your anger. So every 16 seconds, 5% chance of activating and going on the massive offensive. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. One every 20 hits, I just go on a mad killing spree. Sweet. And being melee focused, I get hit a lot. Ah, my new rift portal. Come on, smut them down. We're all going down anyway. Anything up here? No. Scrap and stuff. Look at these guys. Took quite a couple of hits. But I can kill more than three hits, which is nice. What about the gun? Dude, this is why I want a gun. Can end those quickly. And these. Destroys the spawning. Not all the spawning, no. Don't appear to have any massive AoE ability as of yet. I've just got Fighting Spirit. I'm beaten into, su into submission. Rather than, you know, succumbing, I go to go down and kill everything. Lower chance, but does block more. I'll go for that. Teutonics of mending. So my my food has run out. What's this? Burial hill entrance. Burial hill entrance. It's a cave in Burial Hill. Unless that's just the underground map. Don't know. Let's kill all these things. Tainted Hound. Dead. I've just been not some sort of debuff. Kill everything there. Straight back to here. There's multiple entrances. Could be multiple entrances. Actually, it's notice the time. But how? Three minutes probably about okay for this. So let's just head straight back. And then the episode here. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Grim Dawn. I am a different, and I shall see you next time for the completion of the first quest. But until then, I'm out.